This is a story of how one Filipino family gave us a one of a lifetime experience in Alaska. So during our Alaskan cruise trip, one of the cities that we were dropped off at is Juneau, which is the capital city of Alaska, and it's actually the only capital city where there are no roads leading to it because the city itself is surrounded by mountain ranges. So the only way to get there is by plane or by boat. So obviously we knew that transportation and getting around the city is going to be quite a challenge. So when we arrived in Juneau, it was actually a Saturday. So we tried looking for a 7-day Adventist church and we actually only found one in the whole city. But it was up near the mountains and 11 miles away from downtown. So we tried to look for a shuttle and we found one and it was going to be a long journey to get up to the mountains. So we get to the church just in time and it was very small and cozy and welcoming. And we meet a Filipino family that actually offered to give us a ride to one of the glaciers nearby, which is Mendenhall Glacier. So knowing that transportation is practically impossible, we took up the offer and we went to the glacier, which was actually gorgeous. And the glacier itself is actually about 13 miles located in Mendenhall Valley. And it has actually gotten smaller in size in the past decades because of global warming. So it's, global warming is a real thing, guys. We also did a short hike to this waterfall near the glacier, which is called Nugget Falls, which was just huge and gorgeous. And then we headed back, and then the Filipino family picked us up again and went back to the church to have a pleasant lunch with them where we ate delicious salmon. And it was just a great time. So next, the family brought us to this river where all these salmon was spawning and there was so many of them and there was a structure nearby which was like a, a fish ladder where the salmon can go upstream and spawn and then the hatchery helps protect these wild populations and provide the fish for harvest. And here's a clip of Papatua catching salmon. He was just very excited that they catching fish after fish. It was very fun to watch. And in Alaska, with, with a fishing license, you can actually catch up to six salmon per day. And what people would do, they would fish around close to midnight. So when it hits midnight, it resets so they can catch up to 12 fish that way. Just a little fun fact. So there are actually five types of wild Alaskan salmon species in Alaska. And here's a fun and easy way to remember them using just your hand. Sakai, when you suck somebody, sakai yeah. or red, yeah. king is the, the middle finger, king or yeah. chinook. Yeah. The ring finger is silver and, or kuko, two, yeah. two names in each. Yeah. And then pinky, you're pink, pink or humpy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, once again, so your thumb represents a chum salmon because it rhymes. And your index finger represents sock eye salmon. So you're, it's like you're about to sock someone in the eye when you're closing your fist. And then your middle finger is kind of like the tallest finger, so it represents the king salmon, also known as Chinook. And then your ring finger represents the coho salmon, which you'll just have to remember. And finally, your pinky represents the pink salmon, or also known as the humpies. And that's how you remember them all. And that's how that one Filipino family changed our day in Juno into something unforgettable. And we hope that one day we can meet them again and do the same in return.